guys, it's Sherelle here from Sunny Ray and Creations. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a template for your chip bags. I am going to be starting a series on how I do my party favors. Um, basically chip bags, candy wrappers, um, little cookie wrappers, stuff like that. And I'm going to show you guys how to do like your own templates and stuff because it's super easy. For this, I am going to be using a Photoshop. So if you guys do not have Photoshop, I do highly recommend it. I think it's great to have if you are going to be in this type of business because the possibilities are endless. There are free options out there like Inkscape and I think what's called GIMP. Um, so if you use those, I'm not too familiar with them, but I heard they're similar to Photoshop. So maybe you could follow along. Maybe this will help you with that as well. I'm not too sure. But like I said, I mainly use Photoshop for everything, for all my editing. So yeah. So if you guys want to see how I make my free template in Photoshop, then continue watching, please. All right. So first you're going to open Photoshop. And I do have the monthly subscription one so i get everything like everything through adobe um for 30 dollars a month so i get illustrator and literally all their programs i get so i think it's really good because if you get just photoshop monthly through them i believe it's 19.99 so for 10 dollars extra i get literally everything which is great because if you have illustrator you could jump in the bandwagon of doing your own svgs and stuff um, which I'm currently doing right now and learning. So maybe we'll do a video on that as well. You can basically make stuff and sell your files. And basically you're not doing anything. You're basically making it one time and then just selling it. Which is awesome in my opinion. But anyways, we're getting off the subject. So yeah, so you're going to open Photoshop. It's going to look like this. Um, if you have the newest one, you're going to just hit create new. Or you could go to file and hit new here. Now, for the chip bags, the size of the chip bags is pretty much the size of a full sheet of paper, which is 8.5 by 11. You're just flipping it. So, it's going to be 11 by 8.5. So, when you go over here in the right side of the menu where it says pixels, we're going to change that to inches. And we're going to change the width to 11 and the height to 8.5. And then I'm leaving everything else how it is. If this is not your settings, I'll give you a second to look at them and change that. And then once you do that, you're going to hit create. So now we have this blank canvas here. Now for this next step, you are going to need the ruler. Um, I don't know if it automatically shows the ruler when you get Photoshop. If it does not, you're going to go to view and hit rulers. And now literally... As you can see, it took it away. It'll literally add the ruler for you. Now, to determine the size of your chip bag, because you're going to have two back side pieces, and then you're going to have one big front side pieces. So, how I determine the size for that is I pretty much do 11 divided by 4, because you're going to have two small pieces here, and then those two small pieces are going to equal one big piece in the front. So, if you do 11 divided by 4, that equals two point seven five so pretty much both your size of your chip bag is going to be 2.75 inches by 8.5 and then this big piece is going to be the 2.5 times 2 which equals 5.5 .5. so this part is going to be 5.5 by 8 inches so in order to get our and what we're going to do is we're going to create guidelines for that so how to create guidelines is you're going to need your ruler. This is where your ruler comes in. You're pretty much going to take, click on your ruler, and you're going to drag it. And as you can see, your X, when you move the X, it's a number. That's how many inches you're going in. So we want to bring that to 2.75. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it as close to 2.75 as you possibly can. Because I could never get it perfect. So, oh, as that one happens. <laughs> Now you're going to do again, and you're going to bring it to the other side. And when you bring it over here, it's not going to say 2.75 because it's going the whole length of the paper. So this goes to 11. So what you're going to do, you're going to do 11 minus 2.75, and that gives you 8.25. So we are going to bring this one to 8.25. Boom. So now we have, these are the back sides of our chip bag and this is the front side of our chip bag 
And now what I also like to do is I like to separate my top and bottom. This is where I'm going to be gluing my chip bags together. And this is also um, where I like to add a different like pattern overlay. Um, so I'll make this whole thing one pattern. And I like to separate my top and bottom. I think it looks more professional. I think it looks, it looks better. Um, I also crimp my chip bag. If you do not have a chip bag crimper, I will link one down below from Amazon. I think it's essential. I think it's amazing. Um, I think it looks very, it makes your chip bags look super for professional. Um, but if you do not have one, this is also going to be, um, this is also going to help make your chip bags look better and more put together by separating the top and bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, go to our top ruler and we're going to drag down. And I like to do one inch for this. So we're going to go really just to one or one point, whatever. Boom. And then we're going to go to the bottom. And this one's going to go to 7.5. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to now add our nutrition label and our barcodes. Now, you can make your own if you want, but nobody has time for that. There are so many free ones available on Google. You can also purchase some on Etsy. You do what you want to do. I literally go to Google Images and I find ones I like. So... I'm going to show you guys what I search for. So for the nutrition labels, I will literally just come in here and I Google party nutrition facts. And this is what pops up. So you could just click stuff and just try to find what you like. Here's one. I have this one. This is like for a baby shower. This one's cute for like a unicorn party. We're going to just save that to nutrition, but so I have this one, it's called barcode and nutrition labels, and I have all my barcode and nutrition labels in here, so they're easy to find. Um, so yeah, do that, find what you want. Okay, so we have that, and then also for barcode, I search barcode PNG, and I just download random barcodes. This isn't too interesting, they all kind of look the same, so you have to find a few and download those and save those. Alright, so once you save those, you're going to go back into Photoshop and you're going to want to open that folder where you saved everything to. So this is my folder um, and I'm going to go in. I know this is the birthday party one I have. So I'm literally going to take this and I'm going to drag it right into what I'm working on. And then we're going to resize it. And place it over here. It's a little too big, so I'm gonna get a little bit smaller. And boom. And if you can't move it, if it doesn't go exactly where you want, place it as close as you can and then use your keyboard arrows to move it exactly where you want. Or you can zoom in. When you zoom in more, you have better control of where you can move stuff to. That's my little tip for you guys. And now we're going to go, and then we need to find our barcode. So we're going to go in here again, find a barcode we want. We'll just take this one, take it, drag it over here. Now for my barcodes, I don't like using numbers. It's just my preference. If you want, feel free to use numbers. Um, you could put, like, the date of the event. You could put like an anniversary day, how long they've been married, if you're doing that. Um, or you even put your information. You could put your phone number there and then put your business name underneath it to promote yourself. So you have your contact information up there. And hits people at the party wants to know where do they get this stuff from. They will have your information. Okay, so I like to delete the numbers. So I go here. This is the marquee tool or you could hit M on your keyboard. If you hover over these, it'll show you um, little shortcuts on your keyboard. And you could hit like a letter and it'll automatically take you to that tool. So this one is M. So if I hit M, it's going to select that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to select the number 5 and I'm going to hit delete. Alrighty. Now if this pops up, I'm going to show you guys what to do. It says, could not complete your request because the smart object is not directly edible. 
and you're like what <laughs> so you're gonna hit okay then you're gonna go over to the barcode layer and you're gonna right click it and you're gonna literally hit this button right here rasterize oh my bad it's gonna say rasterize layer so you're gonna click that and now you could edit this layer so now if i hit delete it's gonna delete that five and now i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna delete all of um these numbers because i don't want those there i'm gonna delete and then i also need to get this little piece here that's not even delete okay so now i have this clean spot right here and i like to put whatever the event is so it's a birthday party i'll put happy birthday the baby shower i'll put baby shower if it's at anniversary happy anniversary if it's like valentine's day i love you if it's a wedding put i love you too or you could put their names or you could also put their names the the ask yous you know whatever so there now we have our um barcode and now we need to resize this. Now, to resize them together, because now the barcode and the words happy birthday are on different layers, we're going to select one, then hit shift and select the other layer. And now that makes it um, so we could resize them at the same time in the same size. So now we're going to just resize it to the size we want. You hit enter. Now, for me, the barcode is too tall for me. I like it to be a little bit more rectangle. So I'm going to go over to the marquee tool again. So M on my keyboard. And I'm going to just select the part that I don't want. So we're going to take off like that much. And then hit. Make sure the layer is selected. Hit delete. And boom. Now we have this whole side done. Now I'll also show you how I separate the top and bottom. Um, so what we're going to do. We're going to go. We're going to click the bottom layer. And then we're going to go to layer. New layer. And then hit enter. And why we select the bottom part is because it's going to make that layer right above that. So it won't be over the up. So it won't be on top of the stuff we just made. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same marquee tool. And we're literally going to select the top and bottom part. So we're going to select that part. And then we're going to select the bottom part. And then we're going to take this tool right here. This is the paint bucket tool. Or you could hit G. And we're just going to fill it. It doesn't matter what color. Because we're going to change it later on. But just so I can show you guys what it's going to look like. So this is going to be your top and bottom. So this is going to be your top and bottom part. And this is going to be the part where you could add a layer um, overlay. A pattern overlay. So you could put glitter here. I'm just doing this to show you guys like what I mean by when I separate it. So as you can see I have glitter here. And that looks super cute. Um, so that'll be your top and bottom part. But you can see it makes it look just stands out. And over here, I'll usually put like, thank you for coming. Um, Thanks for coming to my party. Exclamation point. Boom. We're going to put that here. And then you could change the font and everything here. And what I use for the happy birthday, I use the font called Aliens and Cows. If you do not see your font over here, like your character map, you're going to go to Windows. And you're going to hit Characters. And that's going to bring up this whole window. And this is how you could change your fonts. You could change the color. You could change the spacing. You could do all that right here. So I like to keep this over here because I use it a lot. Um... But yeah, so then we could change it to something nicer if you want it to be like in cursive, literally whatever you want it to be. That's what you do. And then we will resize it. And then we want to be centered. So here will be centered. Nope, nope. 
hold on when you select all this hit centered there is centered and then you will just move it over here make it bigger and yeah there we go and then underneath you could put like um whoever you make it for you could put like their name um love jonathan from jonathan and you could put a picture here of the child or you could put a picture of whatever theme you're working with so this i usually i usually leave blank until i do it but this is pretty much your chip bag template so these blue lines just show you where to put everything and then this whole piece is going to be whatever you want to put in the front so i hope this video was helpful if it was helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button. And also do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. So I can show you guys how I actually use my template and how I make um, make a chip bag. I'm going to pick a theme in my next video. And we're going to just jump right into it and make something. And then we will start making other stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I hope this video will help you. If you guys miss something or i went too fast explaining or just you just didn't understand what i did because i didn't go too in depth please let me know ask questions in the comments and i will be sure to get back to you and also just so you know when you go to print these files you don't have to delete these blue lines they will not print when you go to print them they are just guidelines so they stay there while you're working but when you go to print them they will not show on your design so <laughs> i think that's kind of nice to know as well but again thank you guys so much for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video bye now